everyone, welcome to another episode of Kayak Q, Kayak Q Fishing TV, where we educate, explain, and entertain and do kayak fishing related reviews. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best live bait options for kayak fishing. So stay tuned and see which one of these wins the best overall best option and um, see what I got to say about this. in this video we're talking about the best live bait options for a kayak or kayak fishing in general there's many applications where um, some of these options are going to work better for others so that's basically the overall jit of which one is going to be best or suitable for you all right usually price um, is usually a factor for most live bait options so you know if you're just getting started some people are going to be like well i don't necessarily have all that money to to buy an expensive uh, live well or um, I don't have enough space on my kayak, or um, how much bait can it hold, because I want to hold a lot, or uh, you know, this, that, and the other. So let's start off with uh, the basic ones. All these here I have used on my kayak personally, so um, I'll probably put in some of the clips here and there. Let's start off with this blue one right here. You can get this at most tackle shops. Um, here you can put live shrimp. You can put pin, small pinfish, like quarter size dollars uh, pinfish. You can put some live shiners if you do fresh water. You could do uh, greenbacks, um, silver sides, and a few other little baits in here. Maybe some small finger mullets, but you won't probably be able to put a lot. So um, this technically runs you about $4 just for the tank itself. The aerator is based on the size aerator you're gonna get. Um, an aerator like that will probably cost you another five, six bucks. So. Um, this one under 10 bucks or under 15 and it's very very useful um, if you're a paddle guy or a pedal guy um, for the pedal paddle guys you can actually put this in between your legs while you actually paddle and you'll be able to pull out your your bait your shrimp your live shrimp or whatever you could also put this in the back rear tank well and you'll um, save some space that way so if you're limited to space on your on your specific kayak uh, this is a great option. Um, won't be my best and go-to option, but if I'm gonna do a quick in and out trip just with live shrimp or um, some babies, some small pinfish or some uh, some silver sides or some shiners in fresh water, then I would use this, which is very convenient for me and it's affordable. So this is on the list. You're gonna need this if you're limited to space and you're just getting started into the kayak fishing world, this will get you started for very cheap, all right? The good thing about this is the aerator and this is above the water and you're not pulling something along. So this is a great option if you're just getting started and save space. Next, frail bill. This has a lot of negative reviews, but it's useful. You can get this for under 20 bucks. And it's just like the blue one, you can hook up your aerator, or you can toss this in the water or the rope along your kayak. Only problem is you will pull, so this will give you some resistance while you're pedaling or paddling. Um, but you could also just fill it up with water, it has the holes, as you may see. Fill it up with your, your live bait water, whatever. Put your aerator, and then when you get to your fishing spot, take your aerator off, toss it in your water and fish from there um it's up to you it does save space just like the other one you can put it in between your legs back rear tank well and um saves a little bit of space and it's useful is it highly recommended by me no uh, with a lot of resistance in the water while pedaling or paddling um i didn't i don't like that i like to kind of cover a lot of ground fast so this is not what i recommend but it is very useful and once again, it's very affordable. So if you're just getting started, um, it has its pros and its cons, and this will get you out on the water with live bait quickly 
and um, you have very different options of uh, bait sizes you can put in here. I I think the biggest type of bait I put on I put in here was um, finger mullets with maybe one one mullet inside, but it wasn't that big. So this is a good option. So um, on the list, if I had to pick between the two, I would go with the blue one before I would go with this one. All right. Get on to the next one. And the next one. This is what used to be a torpedo bait bucket. All right. And I'll explain what happened to this, but um, you can get this as cheap as $39.99, I believe, and expensive as 50 bucks, depending on where you get it and what time of the season. Um, here goes the, the lid where you can actually put in um, your baits. You can put pinfish, mullet. I put mullet in here. I put um, goggle eyes in here. I put shrimps in here. Very useful. Very little resistance from pulling, thanks to the design here. Um, good and bad reviews. The bad review that I got is the amount of glue that they put here isn't. It doesn't hold as long. Um, I think I was offshore at Pompano Beach with 10 gogs in here, and I was fighting a shark, and I think the back of the shark hit this and unglued it. And I lost all my bait early in the morning. So, is it recommended? I would recommend to use it. Uh, is the quality build 100% to where you'll be satisfied? This proves the point. Um, I'm not knocking this company. I actually used this for two years straight without having any issues until that happened. Um, so, yes, this is the size you can put. I, like I said, I had like 10, 8 to 10 goggle eyes in here. Um, and I was pulling this along in the kayak. So this is great. Um, con about this is if you're running a motor offshore, you're gonna kill your bait. So anything that you're pulling in the water, unless you're going really like one knot, two knots, um, I won't recommend because the, the speed that you're going will kill your baits. Um, but this is an option. Is it the best option? Um, out of those two that we, or this is the third one, I would go with this, but it's not my number one. Um, once again, fresh water, salt water, rivers, this will work. Even if you're fishing from the banks or the shoreline, this will also work as long as you got a long enough rope. So I recommend it. It's pretty good. Can't complain. Just I wish they would have built it a little bit strong and durable, but I got a replacement for this, so you'll see now. Some of you offshore guys, um, this, will, this will do the job. Five gallon bait bucket couple of aerators and you're good to go um, you can find a bucket along the streets anywhere if not a bucket will cost you about 30 bucks aerator another eight to ten bucks maybe 12 bucks and you're good to go um, you cannot put this in the front of your kayak unless you got an empty space in front of your uh, kayak but this is a lot of offshore guys use this in the back rear tank well um, put a lot of bait in it only issue is you're gonna fill it up with that much water it is heavy uh, five gallons of water, probably equal to an extra 50 or 30 pounds of, uh, give or take like 25 pounds of water. So um, you got to take that into consideration if your kayak is uh, doesn't hold that much weight. Um, do I use this personally now? No. If I had to, yes, um, depending the circumstances. But you can put a lot of uh, baits in here, um, big different size baits, so it's not that bad. So here goes an option. Is it the one I recommend, number one? No, but if you're um, just getting started and this is what you got, go with it. And so you decide and figure out what you want. I would put a lid over this. I don't have the lid with me, but I'd put the lid over this, feed the aerator through, and you don't have to worry about your baits jumping out of the tank. All right, we're going to my little baby here. This is ABS. Um, piping this is not PVC PVC does not float it will drag it will cause a lot of drag while paddling and pedaling this actually floats once again it's ABS I'm gonna say it right there ABS piping um, so you can fit mullet finger mullet 
goggle eyes, shrimp, um, pinfish, a little bit of everything in here. And pull it along your kayak. Um, I've used this a lot, so you've probably seen this in some of my other videos. I recommend it. This would be my second best option. It's very affordable. The ABS piping cost you maybe 10 bucks. The, the grill here and here, uh, like less than five bucks each. So I recommend this. I drilled some holes in here. This does float, does not cause a lot of resistance. If I had to say which one has the least amount of resistance while paddling between this and the torpedo bay bucket, I would say this. This floats a little bit more, so less resistance. Um, if you're running a motor offshore, then I won't recommend this. If you are paddling and pedaling offshore, then yes, I recommend this. Um, just so you can save space in the rear tank well for a crate, a black pack, um, or a fish bag or whatever you carry in the back. It does hold a, enough baits uh, to get you through the day, so I do recommend this. This is going to be my uh, second best, almost number one option for offshore fishing or just getting started for live bait options. So um, once again, ABS, um, I'll put some of the information down in the description below. So. And it's a DIY project, so you'll have fun making this. And that's the final options for most of you guys that got the money and just getting started. A live bait well. This is by Hobie. Um, I'm sponsored by them. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. If money is not an option, I'm just getting started, then I highly recommend this. If money is an option, then I'll go with the ABS um, torpedo style DIY. Um, but this will be the number one right now. It can hold about, I think, uh, a little less. I'm not 100% sure on how much, but holds enough bait for you to get you through the day. Shrimp, pinfish, shiners, whatever you need. It's very good. It has a rod holder and an internal battery. So this runs you about 300 bucks. They have another version. This is the version one. Version two is a little over 350, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. So number one option. Live tank well and it does have its system where it's self draining and the water pump, so very good and gives you some benefits. So, the rod holder, um, you can regulate how much water you want in this. Um, you have your battery self draining through the scuppers of the Hobie, so this is more for a Hobie kayak, but you can get a cooler, you can get a whole mess of other things where it's similar to this. Um, I've seen the um, dog food containers which do the same thing but you'll be able to adjust it to any offset brand kayak that's not a hobie this is more designed for a hobie i fish with a hobie but um it's my number one best live bait option so if you got the dog food container one that is equivalent to this um wilderness system has um a cooler slash live well that works as well that i recommend and that would be like number one as well equivalent to this price is pretty hefty as well um, if not you can go with a, a small angle cooler with an aerator that would work um, it's small this goes in the back of the tank well so it will take up some space um, if you're the type of guy that has 50 plano boxes then this option might not work if you're short for storage in the in the kayak but it's worth it it works and this is my go-to number one live bait option but if you don't have a hobie and this doesn't work for you then i would recommend this one so this is my number one in reference to um not having a hobie then you can use this option which i recommend the abs piping too um, not pvc again not pvc pvc sinks doesn't float and it creates drag this abs piping floats less drag and i recommend it so these are the options there's a, another option which is a styrofoam float i don't have it but i'll put a picture here on the screen um, of one of these with a styrofoam styrofoam float that actually keeps this floating or something similar to this and you can pull it as well I'm going to say it has some resistance as well, even though the styrofoam um, will keep it floating. But um, since it's wide like this, and so I think I don't think that could be the number one, but if that's what you like. It's affordable as well. 
Um, so that's the, the last option. So for the number one live bait option that I recommend, this one costs you less than 20 bucks. And it's highly recommended. If you're just getting started, then I recommend those in the back. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.